Hello everyone, how are you doing today? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a QR code in PowerPoint. The same procedure can be applied in Microsoft Word and Excel. So QR code can be used in PowerPoint when you are making a presentation and you want your audience to visit the website to fill out a survey, especially when you're done making your presentation. You know, it can be difficult for people to type the URL into their phone as there might be mistakes. Instead, it's best to display a QR code at the end of your presentation so your audience can scan with their phone and have access to the URL easily to fill out your survey. So this illustration, I'll be making use of add-ins in Microsoft PowerPoint as this tool does not come with Microsoft Office. So once you open your Microsoft PowerPoint, Word or Excel, just navigate to where you have the Insect tab. Now look for where you have the add-ins. Add you can see it over there. Okay, so that's the add-ins. Okay, add-ins group. Now there are two stuffs there. I'll go to the get add-ins because I haven't um, initially installed the add-ins or the QR code in this um, computer. So I'll just go to that point. If I had it initially, I'll go to this um, button that says my add-ins. So I'll go there and click get add-ins. So it will take you directly to the store. And you must uh, have to be connected to the internet. So when it opens up the store, just type in QR code and press the enter key. So it will search. So there are a lot of QR codes. Okay. All right. So I have this particular one says QR for office. So QR for office for me, I think is the best one because it says office. So I'll click on the add button. Once it opens, click on the continue to accept the license terms and privacy policy. So I'm going to do that and let's see what happens. So it's loading over here. All right, so this is what I get by the um, right hand side of my Microsoft PowerPoint. You see the QR for Office appears by the side here. So you can either just click on the insect button and have it insected on your slide here. So you can see over here that is my QR code. And if you didn't find it by the side of your PowerPoint, you can go ahead and click by the insect tab add-ins group you would see my add-ins click on that button here is the qr for office you can actually click and click the add button and it will appear so either way so i'm back to the side you can increase you see the qr code here is quite small you can increase it all right by you know dragging the size you see the size there just the zoom level i would like to increase it so i'll go ahead and make it bigger so once that is big i like what i see okay so the next thing i need to do look up here where you have this box it says enter the url test you had like to encode so i want to click on the more arrow so this is an example of the um, QR codes that I can make. All right, so I want to go with the HTTP column forward slash forward slash because it's a URL that I want to make. So over here, all right, so what I did is to copy, put my YouTube channel here at the last of the last slide of the presentation. So I copied and I placed it in the first box right so you can see it right here and uh, a few options i would like you to um, see is here the color i can change the color here to say red all right so you can see i can make the care um, 
QR code to be red color if I wish and I can also change the background to green. All depends on what you want to do. So I want to take that back to black and leave it at um, green background just for the illustration. So once I'm done and I'm okay with what I see, I can then go ahead to click on the insert. So you can see over here, I have my QR code right beside my picture and the and my YouTube channel. So the good thing about having this QR code is I can... If, for instance, after my presentation and I want people to go into my YouTube channel and have access to other videos, they can easily bring out their phones and scan this QR code instead of typing this lengthy URL address. Like I said, you can also do the same thing in Microsoft Word. Like here, I did insert my YouTube um channel address over there you can see and i have this url up here there i can insect it and have people access any channel or my youtube channel whenever i want them to do so instead of typing in a lengthy url address so i think this is an easy way to have people get access to what you want them to or whichever web address you want them to have access to all right let me know if you tried this and how it worked drop your comments in the comment sections below let me know what video you also like me to make in future and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video